Every day, we're sending millions of signals to space and back by utilizing data over satellite technology. Whether that's to order pizza, or to track the delivery using GPS, or to study the stars. To make this possible, we need to place satellites around our planet. But where do we put them? There are three main categories of orbit that we have satellites in, and each one comes with different properties. And those three main categories are LEO, MEO, and GEO. But what are they? And what do they mean? LEO, or Low Earth Orbit, is at an approximate altitude of 500 to 2,000 kilometers from the Earth's surface. It's in low Earth orbit where you'll find the International Space Station. LEO is densely populated with thousands of satellites in operation, primarily for imaging, scientific purposes, and telecommunication. Low Earth orbit satellites are smaller and cheaper, but you need a lot of them to work sufficiently with a complex ground network. And its closeness to the Earth offers low latency. But because LEO is so close to the Earth, atmospheric effects will cause gradual orbital disorientation. So, it will require regular maintenance of satellites to keep them on track in low Earth orbit. MEO, or medium Earth orbit, is above 2,000 and below 36,000 kilometers. And it's here we enter the Van Allen radiation belt, where we require satellite shielding. MEO is used for space science, land surveying, and mainly navigation systems like GPS. MEO is favored for low latency connections in remote areas. Cruise ships, jumbo jets, and the military use MEO for this purpose, where terrestrial connection is not viable. Whilst LEO satellites are cheaper, you require more of them than if you used MEO, meaning you can use 50 satellites in medium Earth orbit and get the same coverage as 100 satellites in low Earth orbit. GEO, or geostationary Earth orbit, is at an altitude of 35,786 kilometers. Sometimes you hear people use the term geosynchronous and geostationary interchangeably in this context. Geosynchronous means a satellite moves in sync with the rotation of the Earth, Whereas, geostationary orbit means the satellite remains exactly in the same place, parked over the equator. Every geostationary orbit is geosynchronous, but not every geosynchronous orbit is geostationary. The further away from the equator you are, the more you'll require geosynchronous over geostationary. GEO offers planet-wide coverage with just three satellites, making geostationary orbit the backbone of data over satellite communication. Because GEO is such a narrow band and requires fewer satellites to get planetary coverage, it makes GEO a competitive market. Every country only has so many slots for geostationary orbit that they can occupy. And occupying this space can be more expensive and complicated than utilizing LEO or MEO. Simply put, for GEO, there's not enough space in space. So, those are the popular orbits of Earth, LEO, MEO, and GEO. And keep in mind, the discovery and commercialization of these orbits only came less than a century ago. Satellite technology is in its early days, and as to where it's going, well, sky's the limit. Global Invercom, completing the picture.